Hey guys, um, I really don't know what to say in this video. I don't know, I don't even know if I should be putting my viewpoint out there because I'm white and I clearly don't know what I'm really talking about. Um, but I think it's important with anyone who has people who are following them, they should make their stance known, even though there shouldn't even be a stance in the situation. It should just be Black Lives Matter and that is it. I've been offline for a little while now and a lot of that has been educating myself, reading up stuff, donating, signing petitions, which by the way, in this video, the purpose of it is really raise some awareness, leave some petitions down below that you can sign, leave some places down below that you can donate to, and just maybe some educational places for you guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'm literally just weird vomit right now. Obviously I'm talking about the murder of George Floyd. What I've seen on Twitter and on other social media has really just opened my eyes and really burst my little bubble that I was in and I think that's good. I think being exposed to the reality that is out there is needed especially if you're white because if you're black you already know the reality of it because you live it. Um, usually I try and stay off social media when stuff like this happens and that is just the point. That is white privilege, um, being able to turn off. So um, I force myself to read up more, to educate myself more because the only reason I wasn't was to spare my own feelings because I know that things like this kind of hit me quite hard and I'm affected a lot by this stuff. White people have made it so white people always have the upper hand. People of colour have been fighting this for over 400 years and let's not forget that if you're my age, your grandparents would have been in the segregation. It wasn't that long ago where people of colour and white people were still segregated. Like let that just sink in, like your grandparents were in a time where there was segregation in schools and just general life. There was segregation just because of melanated skin. Like that just blows my mind. I would say generations have evolved, but those deep-rooted thoughts and feelings are still there in systems that can oppress people of colour. They're still there. And just because you may think that you've evolved and you've gone past racism, and you don't think like that, that doesn't mean that the oppression isn't enforced and it's not still there. And I think it's important that people need to realise that. One thing that really annoys me is the all lives matter rebuttal. <laughs> and I just wonder, like, do you feel a need to say that? Are you guilty on something? Like, do you feel offended? Has something triggered you to say that? Because I, I truly want to understand because I've never thought because someone is saying black lives matter that my life doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure you guys as my followers, well I hope that you are all, you know, thinking about the people who are oppressed with your words and I hope you're not using all lives matter. It's not that I don't agree with that statement because I just think that's just <laughs> an obvious statement. Like we as human beings, we value life. Like, that's just a normal thing. That's why we have things like doctors and things, you know, to keep us alive longer. That's why we've evolved over the years and we live so long now. It's because we value life and we always have, you know? So I just don't understand why that's a rebuttal over people who are fighting for equal rights and equality in society. Um, I'll never get it. When people in the UK think that racism isn't a big deal over here, um, it, it, it still is. And in fact, like, you know, the UK has, again, deep-rooted history with racism. We, we, we are bad. We are probably worse than America. If you look at the history, we are really bad. And I never learnt it in school, and I think it should be a part of the curriculum because we need to know why. What all happened in history to make us come this far? I remember, and this actually sticks in my mind quite a lot, I used to work in a fast food restaurant and I still remember this quite vividly and I wasn't even there for the actual thing to happen. But I was on my break, I worked with a girl, she is a person of colour, you know, she was a really friendly, lovely girl. And this is the thing, it just doesn't, it's just never come to my mind that, that she was a person of colour. 
Like, she was just a person that I was working with. She was really friendly. I... <laughs> anyway, she had come out of the staff bathroom looking clearly upset. I was like, what's wrong? She's like, oh, it's nothing, don't worry. And so I went back, you know, to do my job. And I said to my colleague, you know, she looks really upset in the bathroom, what happened? She was serving someone she misheard someone speaking and they turned around to her and said do you even speak english they were racially profiling her they were being outrightly racist to her just because she misheard something in customer service you're always friendly you're always polite and i know for a fact she was you know that was just her demeanor she's just a very nice person but they decided to flip it on her and they decided to be racist and I know my boss at the time she's just she wouldn't have anything like that because that's just not the way we are like I anyway um the police were called we react and we're like we don't tolerate anything like that but that happened in my workplace and I still remember it when stuff like this happens in my life and it's not even happening to me I still think about it quite deeply but yeah it affected me so I can't even imagine how it affected her I mean clearly she was upset about it it's gonna affect you Anyway, again, I'm just word vomiting. Um, I'm gonna leave some links down below, as I said. Please sign all of the petitions. It does not take long, like literally like two clicks. If you've got a Facebook account, usually you can just click log in with Facebook and then click sign the petition. And then you can share it, which I encourage you to do as well. Don't feel like you have to, but if you can, please donate to the charities. There's been so much movement made, but we need to keep pushing. I know for a fact the four officers have been arrested, but there's still so many cases. People need to be held accountable for the law, especially if they're enforcing said law, they need to be held accountable for their actions. They are not above the law. But yeah, anyway, as I said, it's not about me, it's about the people it's affecting, but I just wanna say that I fully support the movement and I stand with you. And even though I'll never understand, I am trying to learn. Um, and I've learned so much in the past few days, but I still have so much more to learn. But I'm open to it. I don't even know if I've been in focus this whole video because um, I'm sorry I've been absent for the past few weeks. I just needed a bit of a break and then, you know, everything happened and I was determined to be a bit more educated. So I just dedicated a lot of my time. Yeah, but I think it's important and needed. I don't really know when I'm gonna feel comfortable to upload normal videos because at the moment I just, I feel wrong, like, filming and uploading. Um, something just doesn't sit right with me at the moment. I hope you guys understand, but I am hoping to, you know, start filming again. But at the moment, my mind can't really settle. I'm sorry about my appearance, okay? I've had, like, breakouts, like, all over my face. Um, I think it's because of stress. Um, and also, I'm about to go in the bath to wash my hair, so. <laughs> Excuse my hair, my face, I just... I just wanted to come on here, be really candid, and just talk about the situation. Anyway, all links will be down below. I hope you guys are well and safe. If you are going out and protesting and things like that, make sure you wear a mask, take hand sanitizer, socially distance, keep yourself safe. And remember, we are still in a pandemic at the moment, and just think about your own health as well. But, I mean, the fight is not over, so... I understand. But yeah, I don't have anything else more to say. I'll see you guys soon with a normal video.